Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Look what showed up in the mail today. Carrier Battle, Philippine Sea, Compass Games, game designed by John Southard. We're gonna open this puppy up, give you kind of a first impression. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. I have been looking forward to this for quite a while. Give me a second. I mean, literally, this came in the mail just before lunch. So I've been jonesing to get my hands on this. Okay. What do we got here? It's a solitaire game. Complexity, medium, high, scale, one turn equals 80 minutes. One hex is approximately 33 nautical miles. Unit scale, one unit, single ship, groups of ship or aircraft. Number of players, one. Suitability for solitaire, high, as you might expect. Average time to play, one to six hours. Recommended age, 14 plus. Game artist and box cover design by Bruce Urian. And project director is Billy Thomas. Again, the designer is John Southard. So what does this got inside of it? it? Includes a hexagonal map of the area of the ocean where the battle was fought and includes displays for US task force and air missions. We'll get into the box and see what it has. The game is a total of nine scenarios, five learning scenarios take you through the rules by programmed instruction. I actually like that. Uh, it allows you to kind of learn the game at your own pace. And it says the other four are full scale, fully replayable games. These include a one day scenario for the criti critical first day of the battle, a two day scenario for the whole battle, a hypothetical scenario, presuming different US plans, and a hypothetical scenario in which Midway was never fought and the Japanese came to arm with the full Pearl Harbor striking force. Ooh, these are gonna be interesting. Okay, let's crack this open. Baggies, always appreciate that. Although I've got my little plastic containers I use, but still. 1D6, pretty standard stuff. Rule book, playbook. Let's just take those in order. So, it's fairly thick. Did I mention that this says complexity medium to high? Okay. Okay, I like this. Table of contents. Nice big font to column. You don't have to squint, full color. Oh, here we go, this is nice. And we'll get into these components, here we go. Kind of what the counters look like. Support is available, okay, nice. Sequence of play. So what do we got here? Carrier. Campaign, airstrike missions, okay. Air to air combat. Okay, so right here it says, don't get waved off. At this point, please play scenario one found in the rule book. So we go back to the beginning of the rules. We start on page six. This takes us to page 12. So six pages to get you off on the first scenario, okay? Then we get into air seat combat. You go 13, 14, 15, four pages gets you to scenario two. Nice. You got some de designer notes. I love designer notes. We go 17, 18, 19. So three and a half pages gets you to scenario three. One, two, three. Four, five, oh, a little more detailed. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we're halfway through the book. We're still looking for scenario four. There we go. 
So what is that? 10, 12 pages roughly to get you from scenario three to scenario four. Japanese carrier forces, so it's getting a little more intense. Kind of ratcheting it up. There we go. So looks like six pages to get you to scenario five. And the first five, it says, are your learning scenarios. Okay. So I would assume when we get through the rest of this, submarines, kill. Cool. Designer notes, again, don't get waved off. At this point, ready to play scenarios six and seven found in the playbook. That gets you from 38 to 48. So roughly 10 pages, maybe 11, depending on how you count. Then we get into some advanced rules. Uh, let's see if there's any optional high cab. Some variants, okay. Night operations. This looks like it's pretty in depth. Oh, awesome. Two more pages of designer notes. Yeah, a third page, okay, I'm digging this. This is the stuff I love. Okay, scooch it little girl. So here's our playbook. So these are obviously the scenarios. Oh, very nice. Already liking this, okay. So, great photos. How to play, comprehensive example. Is this the scenario or is this still the comprehensive example, which is what this might be? Here we go, scenario one. So, in the playbook, the first 12 pages are a very comprehensive example of how to play. I really like that. There we go. Okay, it looks pretty straightforward. Scenario one looks pretty simple. Scenario two, okay, now it's gonna build a little more on the complexity. All right, scenario three, turkey shoot. Looking for scenario four, starts here, enemy fleet sighted, and five, which is the last training scenario. It takes us to six. Seven. Seven, not a lot of descriptions going into seven, so obviously it just builds on what you already know. Eight gets into night turns. Very cool. It says this scenario extends scenario six or seven to cover both days of the battle. Okay, that's what scenario eight does. And then scenario nine, the great carrier battle of the Pacific. Okay, and this is the hypothetical one. Nice. More time date optional. Sweet, talks about some designer notes there. Okay, what else do we got in here? Card one back, card one front, card two, okay, these are all in the back. Obviously, here's a nice back, oh, great color photos. And that kind of gets you into the mode, mood. Okay, card front, okay. Player eight cards. There we go, turn flow. These are, same with these. Good card stock. Air raid flow chart, game flow chart, Japanese movement priorities. Nothing on the back of these, okay. Here's where you can allocate stuff. Nice, the Philippine Sea. Nothing on the back of that. Fighters, attack, servicing, okay. What's lost? 
This is Butai 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So these are your Japanese Butais. Again, nothing on the back of that. We'll come back to those. They're wrapped up. And let's take a look at what we have here. Mounted map. Very nice. Okay. It's not all going to fit under my camera, guys. I apologize for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up parts of this. I'll try to get a big shot, but let's get a little focus up there. It's kind of got a matte finish. I really like that. got some zones you've got some of the Japanese carriers already printed on the map that might be starting locations eh, sorry I don't want to I want to damage my, my map oh sweet okay Oh. Here we go. So the map basically goes from here to there, as far as the ocean goes. And then on this side, you've got some tables and charts, obviously, for keeping statuses of what's going on. nice so there you go now let's look at these counters real quick all right you guys here we go we got three counter sheets Nice looking a destroyer force, cruiser force, oilers, Yamato, Musashi. Okay. Shimano, Akagi, Shokaku, Zukaku. Everybody you would expect is in here. We got some fire tokens, spotted, butai markers. Everything seems to be pretty well centered, no complaints. Okay. For the most part, they're single sided. There are a few that have a back to them. That's your first counter sheet. That looks like the Japanese. This looks like the Americans. Yep. The Yorktown and the Hornet. The Essex, the Lexington. <laughs> Fuel gauges, deck crash. Ooh. This is going to look kind of critical. Fuel, fire. Okay. Just looking at some of these, let's see if this is some. Oh. Okay, they got some numbers on the back. We'll figure out what all that means. Okay. This is already wanting to come apart. And it looks like we got some damage markers. Okay, it just says carrier. I'm guessing. Here we go. Guam. Wind direction. Nice. Butai, one, two, three, da, 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 da. Butai through six. Jits per phase. And again, a handful of them have a back to them. I'd say about 25% of these are two sided, the rest are one sided, which is fine. And they're about to fall out. I mean, so these are going to be easy enough. to get off of the uh, the sheets. 
So guys, let me just put these right back here in the box. Again, carry bell, Philippine Sea. Compass Games. You'll be seeing this on the channel very soon. I'm excited to play this. As always, I appreciate you taking time to check out the channel. Like the video, leave a comment. I read all the comments. And if you haven't, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you in the next one. Goodbye for now.